this Lumera Designer video, we'll have a look at how to create queries to bind data to your chart and table components. So here we are in our application. Uh, now in the outline, we can already look, we can find the data sources folder. So this is where all of your um, data sources for your specific application are created. So you click on the folder itself with the right mouse button, add data source. Now this is the pane where you have to select the connection, the data source, you can specify the name of the data source and so on. So we have to specify the connection, we click on browse. Now we have two panes here. Um, we either have browse connections, so this is for SAP HANA connections or SAP BW connections where you bind directly to the connections themselves, or in our case, browse universes. So this accesses your BI platform and looks for any available universes. Now in our case, we already used eFashion. This is a sample universe created and provided by SAP, and we'll use this one for our example. So we can just double click on that one. Now we need to specify the query for this data source. Click on Edit Query Specification. We are now in the Query panel. As you can see, we have the universe here, the business layer of the universe here, the result objects for Query 1, and the, quer the query filters. And we can also preview the data before loading. Now, in our case, just for this example, let us say that we want to see the sales revenue per year, but only for this year. So the way we do it, we have two ways to include the objects. So first of all, before that, we need to mention that the blue objects are dimensions, the yellow funnel objects are queries built into SAP universes, and the orange rulers are measures. Now, there are two ways to include um, objects into your query. You could either double click on the object and it will appear in your result objects, or you can select the object and just drag and drop it. Now, the order here doesn't really, really matter in this case. You can always modify the order as you see fit, but it is not crucial at this point because you can reorder um, within Lumera Designer itself. But for best practices, it's always a good idea to start off with the dimensions and finish up with, with the measures. Now, for queries, let's say you want to query on the year. You have two ways you could do this. Let's say you do not have this inbuilt filter available to you. What you could do is drag and drop year into the query filters and you can specify the operand you want. So equal to, this is only to equal to one value and in list you can add multiple values between and so on and so forth. And in this pane here, you could either type down exactly the, um, the year you want or you have um, certain other options for you. For example, an object, you can specify directly another object in your business layer. You can specify the list of values, so you would have in your data a list of year values that you could add one after the other. And you could also prompt the user to type in um, his or her own year. So this would be one method. But in our case, we'll keep it simple since we already have a pre-built um, filter and we just double click on this year and it automatically adds it into the query filter. Now, by clicking here in the data preview on refresh, we can have a look at how the data would look like. And there we go. Then you can click on OK once you're satisfied with the outcome. And you can finally rename the data source alias to what you see fit. Now, for best practice reasons, I tend to always keep the DS underscore, but you could name it whichever way you want. So DS sample, for example. 
and click on OK. And there you have it. Thank you, and see you next time.